one of the most useful sums as far as formulas are concerned is the following. If we take the sum let's say from k equals 1 to 8 of just k well what that is is that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to 8 now we could add these together it's not that hard to do okay and I'm really not super concerned with what this what this sum is but what if someone asked you the following what if someone said to you well let's add up the first 100 so that would be oops 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way down to 100 well you'd probably be there for a little while or if they asked you to go to a thousand okay you'd be there even longer right <clears throat> okay so now how do we avoid having to sit and add these guys, these guys up by hand well what we're gonna do is if we want to go up to any n value we're gonna generate a formula for it and so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna say that the sum of this well that's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way down to n now what's the guy before n well if this guy was like a hundred then this one would be 99 so it must be n minus 1 and then what's the guy before that well if this was if this was a hundred this is 99 then we'd want 98 so we have to take a hundred and subtract 2 from it like that okay so this right here is the sum from 1 to n now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that sum again so I'm gonna add I'm gonna rewrite that sum right below it but I'm gonna write it in reverse because additions commutative so the order doesn't matter at all so I'm gonna write n n minus 1 n minus 2 and then I'll go 3 Two, one. You may say you didn't write the four. It doesn't matter if I write the four or not. Okay. In fact, let's just go like this. That way, it's symmetric. It's it's irrelevant. Okay. Now I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add them together. So here's what I'm gonna get. Just like you'd add, just your your typical addition going straight down here. I get two sums of k equals one to n. And now watch what happens when I add these. I get n plus 1 here. I get n plus 1. And then here I get 2 plus n minus 1. So 2 plus n minus 1 is just n plus 1. Check that out. Take n minus 1 and add 2 to it. But you get this. Take 3 and add it to this. Well, you get the same thing again. And down here, these guys match up. Wow, oh, look, I get n plus 1 again. And then I get another n plus 1. And then I get another n plus 1. Now, the question is, how many of these guys do I have? Well, it's easy to see if you just look at this row. I've got n of them, right? So that tells me that 2 times the sum of k equals 1 to n whoops, of k is equal to n n plus 1s. And now if I want to solve for just this, this guy right here, that implies that the sum k equals 1 of, to n of k is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And so what's, what's useful about this? Well, look, let's say you asked me to sum k equals 1 to, I don't know, 30. Oops, that's not how I want to write that. From 1 to 30 of k. What you're asking me is to add the first 30 natural numbers. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way down to 30. Well the thing is I don't have to sit and add these guys up. I can just plug it into this formula and my top value is 30. So what this is equal to is 30 times 30 plus 1 
over 2, which is 30 times 31 over 2, which is 15 times 31. And unfortunately, I can't do that one in my head very quickly, so I'm going to grab my calculator. 15 times 31 is 465. Now look at how quick that was versus sitting and adding these guys together. Now we can go ahead and we can do this for, for very large numbers, but the point is is that we don't have to add these things up by hand. We now have a formula that can go ahead and do that for us.